Hey everyone! Today I'm going to be working in the Amaziograph app on the iPad and I'm going to show you how I work with the two mirror kaleidoscope and the rotation tool to draw a geometric style mandala with overlapping sections. So I'm going to start by choosing the two mirror kaleidoscope and they give you a default grid of nine so we're going to work with that. So now I'm going to start drawing in my lines and I just want to create some petals here to give you a basic idea of how I'm going to do this. So I go in, change my tool to rotation, and then I start to erase out one part of the section and it gives you that overlapped petal look. So I'll just continue to add some lines in to reinforce the fact that my petals are overlapping. When you use the two mirror um, kaleidoscope, tool what it does is it puts a line down the center of each grid and then anything you draw is mirrored on either side of that line within the grid sections. So let's try another one and I'm going to start again with the two mirror kaleidoscope and I'm going to go into the grid option and I'm going to bump it up to 16. So again you're drawing in the mirrored section you're drawing so that whatever you draw is mirrored on each side of the center line in each section. So again I'm going to just draw in some petals and then I'm going to go back and choose the rotation tool keeping my 16 grid the same and I'm going to erase one part of the section that overlaps on the petal and this is going to give me the look again of overlapping and interlocking petals. Once I've taken out those lines I don't want, I can go back to the pen tool and start adding in more lines that will emphasize the fact that these petals are overlapping. I can also start adding more stuff into the center and, and continuing on with this Mandela. Now because I picked 16 for my grid, I can now have that down to an 8 grid because there's so much going on in the center, 16 is almost too much. So I take it back to 8 and now I can draw in the center and it's not so cluttered. Once I'm happy with that, I can take the grid and keeping it as an eight uh, section grid, I can go back and pick the two mirror kaleidoscope and I can add more in. So you can flip back and forth between the rotation tool and the two mirror kaleidoscope. And as long as you keep your symmetry a multiple of each other, so you can have a grid that's eight and you can take it down to a grid of four or you can take it up to a grid of 16. As long as you're still working in multiples, your symmetry is going to stay the same. So let's try another one and I'll give you a few more examples of how this works. So again, I like to start with my two mirror kaleidoscope um, and I usually pick a grid of eight. It's pretty consistent and it's not too cluttered. So I'm going to draw in my petals and then I'm going to draw in a second set of petals because I'm trying to make this uh, interlocking overlap effect. And then I'll go to my um, rotation tool. I have to make sure I change it to the rotation from the kaleidoscope so that when I erase out these lines, I'm not erasing them out on both sides of the petal. I only want to erase one side of each petal out and that will give me easily give me my overlapping effect. So then I go back to my pen tool and at this point I stay in the rotation tool and otherwise I would be drawing back over top of the places that I just erased. So I want to add in lines that are going to emphasize that these petals are overlapping. Now the nice thing with the amazograph is you can always erase stuff back out. So let's say we want to add a second layer of petals over top of our first set and create an opposite overlap. So you're getting even more interlocking petals. So I went back to the two mirror kaleidoscope to draw the petals and then I come back to the rotation tool to do the erasing. So now I'm erasing the opposite side of the petal than I did last time. And what that's doing for me, I'm just erasing here around that dotted line that I drew in. I'm just creating an opposite overlap interlocking effect by doing this. And then I'm just going to continue to draw some more lines in here again to emphasize again that these are overlapping. So it helps to add some details into your petals and it really makes them stand out a little bit more. So now I'm going to go back into the two mirror kaleidoscope again, keeping the grid at eight. 
and I'm going to add some stuff into my center and you uh, can get some really cool effects just by simple lines. You just need to experiment with it. So basically you just go back and forth between the two mirror kaleidoscope tool and the rotation tool and you keep your grid either the same or you keep it a multiple of what you started with. I almost always start with an eight section grid. It's just what I'm used to. And then I can go up to 16, I can go down to four, and I think Amazeograph allows you to go all the way to 30, so I don't get quite to 32. But you can set it up, you can start with a grid of six, and you can go to a grid of 12 to 24. So as long as you're working with multiples, you can get some really cool symmetrical effects in this app. So again, thanks for joining me. I hope that you take some of these ideas and go and create some beautiful stuff. And you can post some stuff on Instagram and tag me there, or you can see me on Facebook, and I'd love to see your creations. Thanks again. We'll see you soon. Thank you.